bone marrow. Here we have uh, a specialized type of connective tissue known as bone. Bone can be very, very dense, or what they call cortical bone, which you see here as this pink band in the lower part of the field. Or you can have a looser type of bone, which goes by a wide variety of names, which we don't see here, but we'll get to later. In addition, bone has marrow. Bone marrow uh, can be 100% fat, in which case it will not make uh, hematopoietic cells. Or bone marrow can be approximately half fat, like you see here, and half cellular, which is the normal general ratio for hematopoietic bone marrow. In adults, hematopoietic bone marrow is primary lim primarily limited to the axial skeleton and the appendicular skeleton, uh, the distal extremities, is primarily non-hematopoietic marrow or 100% fat. Let's uh, take a couple of clicks in here. And I think, let's look at the marrow first. You can appreciate that approximately half of this cross-sectional area is washed out fat spaces or adipose tissue. You can see one, two, uh, three arteries at least. You could see uh, veins or venous uh, spaces or sinusoids here and here and here and here and here. So we see fat, we see arteries, we see veins. And in addition, we see the uh, cellular uh, component of hematopoietic bone marrow, which are cells. And the cells make red cells, white cells, and platelets. And the precursors of platelets are these huge cells, which we see here, and here, and here, and here, called megakaryocytes. And the rest of these generally circular cells, which we're not going to be able to really uh, identify with a great amount of confidence are going to be making your red cells and white cells or myelopoiesis and erythropoiesis. Here's a megakaryocyte, here's one, here's one, here's one. Here's an artery, here's a vein or venous sinusoid, here's another venous space, and the rest of these little round critters here are adipose cells or fat. That's it for the bone marrow